Three things you can do when you feel like rushing through your prayers. You are watching Hashtag with Saad Taslim. Number one, pray as if it's your last prayer. I know we've heard people say this, and I know, I know sometimes the imam or the, or the person leading the prayer will say, pray as if it's your last prayer, but it's rare that people actually internalize what that means. What this means is that this prayer itself could be the very last time you get an opportunity to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It could be the last time that you've gotten a chance to ask Allah for forgiveness. And if you can imagine that this is the last prayer that you will ever pray, you'll find yourself slowing down in your prayer and taking your time, inshallah ta'ala. Number two, physically let your body come to rest in each and every position in the prayer. So when you go into ruku'ah, let your bones and your body settle. Make your adhkar at that time, say what you're supposed to say, and then move on. When you're in your sajda, let your body come to a rest, be it still, be calm, say subhana rabbi al-a'la, and so on and so forth, and then move on from there. In each and every position, what you can start doing right now with your prayer is make sure that your body is at rest in every position of your prayer. Number three. Say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaytan Rajim. We know that the Shaytan actually attacks us in our prayer. And one of the easiest and quickest ways to get Shaytan out of our head, to get those whisperings out of our head, to get those distractions out of our head, is to say, Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the accursed Shaytan. And in this moment, we're asking Allah to protect us from the influence of the Shaytan. Bonus point number four what you can do to stop rushing through your prayer is that when you say Allahu Akbar, and Allahu Akbar is something that we say quite often in our prayer the takbiratul ihram or the opening takbir and the and the moving from one position to the other we say allahu akbar what does allahu akbar mean allahu akbar means that allah is greater meaning anything that we are doing anything that we were doing before our prayer anything that we would want to do after our prayer anything that is making us making us rush through our prayer Allah is greater than that. So every time you say Allahu Akbar in your prayer, remind yourself of one thing that Allah is greater than. And inshallah ta'ala with these three or four, depending on if you heard the bonus one or not, with these four tips inshallah ta'ala, you can immediately apply them to your life, apply them to your salah, so you stop rushing through your prayer and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Until next time, inshallah ta'ala, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.